So welcome to everything computerized, I am CA and in this video I will be going to show the installation of Python on Windows 10, Windows 7 and Linux step by step. So watch this video till end, let's get started. So I'll begin with the installation of Python on Windows 10 as it is the easiest of all. Watch the complete video as there are many small steps which are more important than it seems to be. For installation, first we need to download the latest version of Python for Windows 10. One thing to note here is that all the latest versions of all the softwares is supported on Windows 10. So it's very easy to install anything on it. But if you are working on older operating systems like Windows 7 or Windows Vista or Windows XP, you need to choose the correct version of the software you need to install as Microsoft has ended support for them and so all the latest versions of all the softwares are only compatible with Windows 10 and Windows 8. So for this video I worked on some versions of Python and I came up with the most efficient version to install on older operating system that is Windows 7. So let's move on to the procedure on Windows 10. So first open a web browser and there you need to type Python. You can see that Google has given us everything related to Python software. And now Python is lot more a software than being a reptile. So click on the link which heads to python.org. Then click on downloads. There you can see that the latest version which is available at that time. Now click on windows. Here you can download the latest version of python for windows. Scroll a bit and then on the left hand side click on the link that says windows x86 64 executable installer. It is for both 32-bit and 64-bit systems so it's much easier to install. As soon as you click on it, the download will start. Once downloaded, open the downloads folder and run the setup file which you downloaded right now. The setup wizard is active now. One thing you need to be careful of is you need to check this box that says add python 3.8 or whatever the version is to path. It is a very important step which most people do not follow. If you have installed python without checking this, don't worry I'll show you how to do it later. So now click on install and your installation will start. So the installation is complete. Let's see if the installation has successfully been done or not. Once it is installed, these all things will be added to your PC. This means that your python is installed. But one thing we need to check is if our python interpreter is working or not. For that, you need to open command prompt and type python. If something like this appears, your python interpreter is working fine. Now you can work with your amazing python programs. But if something like this appears, it means during the installation of python, you forgot to check the add to path option and now your interpreter is not connected directly to your system. So don't worry, I'll show you how to do that explicitly. So close all the active tabs of command prompt and open this PC. Now right click on the blank side of the window and open properties. Now on the left side, click on the advanced system settings. Then in advanced tab click on environment variables. Now you have to go to the folder where you have installed python that is where the python is installed in your c drive. So go to c drive then users. Here you have to go to the folder having the pc name. In my case it is chiku and in your case it might be something different. So you need to open that folder. Now you need to go to app data but it is hidden and it contains sensitive data of your apps and windows. So first you need to view the hidden items. So for that you need to go to view tab then click on hidden items. It will show up the app data. Now open the app data folder and then open local. There you need to open programs and then you can see that there is a folder named python. Open that folder and open the folder that represents the version of python you installed now. As we installed python 3.8 it is python 3.8. If you have multiple versions of python installed, it will show up here. So open the latest one. Now we have to copy the path of this folder. So click on this bar and copy the address by pressing 
control plus C. Once copied, open the environment variables window. There you need to search for path. Then click on it and then click edit. Now click new and paste the thing which you copied and then click ok. Now again move to the folder of python. Now open scripts and copy its path address. Open environment variables window and then open path and then click on new and paste the thing which you copied and click on ok. Now close all the windows and open command prompt again and type python. Now you can see that the python interpreter is working fine. Now you can execute all your amazing python statements here. So this was the installation of python on windows 10. Let's see what's the difference in windows 7. Open a web browser and type python. And then go to python.org. As windows has ended support for windows 7, the latest version of any software including python will not be supported at all on windows 7 or older versions. You can try if you want, it will generate an incompatibility error. For this we need to download a slightly lower version of python. I worked on it for a few days and found out that python 3.7 works the best for windows 7. To download python 3.7, search for 3.7 on the search box. You can see that all the releases of python 3.7 are present here. Scroll till you find python 3.7.4 version. Now click on that and scroll to the end of the page till you get a list of all the available downloads. Now click on windows x86 64 executable installer and your download will start. Once downloaded, open the folder where the download is present and run the setup file you downloaded right now. And from here, the installation is exactly same as it was in windows 10. You need to check this add to path option, it is mandatory. Now click on install now and it will install the python software. Suppose you forgot to check the add to path option, I'll show you how you can do it later so don't worry about it. So the python software is successfully installed on our computer. You can see after installation a folder named python 3.7 is created in all programs and contains all the required stuff in it. Now open command prompt and type python. If you had checked the add to path option during the installation, the python interpreter will be directly accessible via command prompt and will run like this. Here you can write all your python statements. If you forget to check the add to python option during the installation, it will appear something like this. So let's now do it explicitly. So close all the command prompt windows which are active currently and now open computer. Now right click anywhere on the blank side of the screen and then click on properties and then on the left side click on advanced system settings and then in the advanced tab you need to click on environment variables and on the lower window you need to search for path and then click on it and then click on edit now you need to go to the folder where python is installed so go to computer and then in C drive you need to go to users. Now click on the folder which has the name of the computer. In my case it is Chiku. In your case it might be something different. So click on it and now we need to go to app data folder as it contains many sensitive data about applications and windows. So it is hidden. So we first need to unhide it. So for that you need to click on organize and then you need to click on layout and then click on menu bar. It will bring the menu back on the top. Now you need to click on tools, then click on folder options. Go to the view tab and then click on show hidden files, folders and drives. By default, it's set to don't show hidden files, folders or drives. So you need to click on show hidden files, folders and drives and then click on apply and then click on ok. So you can see that the app data folder is visible now. So open that, now go to local and then go to programs and then go to python. It will contain a list of all the pythons installed on our computer. If we have other versions of python installed then it will show up here. As we have installed python 3.7 it is showing python 3.7. So go to that folder and now click on this bar 
and copy the address of this path. Now go to the environment variables and at last type a semicolon and paste that you have copied. Don't forget to type a semicolon at last or else it will create an error. So now again put a semicolon and then go back to the folder of python and then open scripts and then again copy the folder path from here and then go to environment variables and paste it at the end just keep in mind that you need to put a semicolon to separate the different path values now click on ok and close all the tabs now open command prompt and type python so you can see that the python interpreter is now working and now here you can type all your python statements and create your python programs so this was the installation of python on windows 7 let's now move on to the installation of python on linux so the installation on linux is not as simple as we saw in case of windows in linux to install python we are not provided with any one clicked software so for Linux, we need to use the Linux terminal to install Python. We have to write some commands to install the Python packages step by step. So I am going to show each step in detail so that it's not that much difficult for you. You just need to follow the steps which I am going to do. I am doing the installation on Ubuntu Linux, which is the most used Linux as it is user friendly. The steps in Ubuntu are exactly same for most of the Linux distros. So most probably you will be able to perform these steps onto your side unless you are using a completely different Linux distro. Let me know in the comment section if you want a tutorial for some other distro of Linux. So let's start with the installation. First you need to open the terminal. For that right click on the desktop and click open terminal. Then something like a console will appear. Here you need to write the commands which I am going to show you. Make sure you have connected to internet as it will download some packages. So first write sudo apt update and hit enter. It will ask you for your current user password. Give it the password and hit enter. This command will fetch some missing and outdated repositories from your system and update it to the latest version. It will take some time depending upon the internet speed. So wait for it to complete. So you can see that the process is complete. Let's move on to the second command. So write sudo apt install software properties common. This command will fetch and download some supportive files for python on linux. It will ask for your permission. So press y and hit enter. It will take some time for installation so wait for it. So you can see that it's complete now. Let's move on to our third command. So write sudo add apt repository ppa colon dead snakes slash ppa. This command will fetch the latest package for python in linux. It will ask your permission so press enter to continue and the installation will start. So it's complete now. Let's move on to a fourth command. So you need to write sudo apt install python 3.7. It will install the python interpreter on your system. It is asking for permission. So press y and hit enter. The installation will start and the speed will depend upon your internet speed. So wait for it to complete. So the installation is complete. Let's now check if python is installed on our system successfully or not. So for that you need to run the command python 3.7 dash dash version if python is successfully installed on your system it will print the version now we have to install the python ideally for that you need to run sudo apt get install ideally it will install the python ideally for interactive development of python so it will ask for your permission so press y and hit enter the installation will take some time So you can see that the installation is finished. Now we need to install PIP that is python installer package for installing modules like numpy, matplotlib etc when we are in python development. So for that you need to run the command sudo apt 
install python pip it will again ask for the permission so press y and hit enter the installation of this package will take some time so wait for it to complete and make sure that you do not disconnect internet So the installation of PIP is complete. It took about 25 minutes in my case as my internet connection was very slow. Now we have installed all the things related to python and we are ready to go. Let's check what all is added to our system. So these are the python IDLEs same as that we got in windows. You can write and save your long python programs as a file using these. So let's write a hello world program in python. So open IDLE and the python interpreter will start here you can write and execute all your python programs so we have successfully installed python on linux so this was all for this video if you have watched this video till here i am really very much thankful to you if you are benefited from this video please like and share it and if you are new to my channel please subscribe it if you have any doubts regarding this video or you have any other query you can comment in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram as you all know we are facing a huge problem which is COVID-19. I request you all to stay at home and avoid any gathering and wash your hands at a regular basis. I'll meet you up in the next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Jai Hind.